Hello everybody and welcome to your next Android development tutorial. This is going to be the last boring tutorial so please bear with me. But um, this tutorial we're going to be getting the Android um, SDK uh, which is what uh, packages everything we need. Um, the, the, the classes, um, the jar files, xmen files, like everything that we need is stored inside the, um, the SDK. And the SDK is what we will need to um, download the components and stuff for which version you'll need, and to get the AVD, which is basically the emulator for the Android. So let's get started. Open up your web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. And you want to go to developer.android.com slash SDK. And when you come here, depending on your operating system, you can download whichever file is um, you need. So for if I'm using Windows, I'll download the Windows uh, zip file. Now um, I've already downloaded it, so it may take a while to download. But when it's finished downloading, you want to extract the file, and you'll get something like this. Now I believe. Um, now as you see here for Windows you see AVD manager and SDK manager now I believe for a Mac you'd have to go to tools and then yeah you'd have to click Android right there and uh, I I don't know if it will run on Windows as well uh, let's see if it works yeah it still works um, so you could choose anyone you want uh, but I just want to let you know something uh, quickly uh, so for some for some users it may not work properly um, when you're trying to install the um, the version properly so what you'd want to do is right click and then you'd want to go to sorry right click and do run as as administrator so I'm going to do um, right click run as administrator <laughs> click yes when that window pops up and wait for everything to load and it's gonna be loading down here and basically we have to wait we have to wait for everything to finish loading and everything um so okay while this is going through the process and everything um oh, okay Okay, whatever is done. So, okay. Anyways, just to let you know that we're gonna be developing using the Android um 2.2. Now you guys might be saying, oh, but 4.0 is the latest. 4.03, whatever is the latest, right? Or if you're developing on a tablet, then you'd wanna download Android 3.0 or Android 3.1 or the 3.2. The three series is for the tablets, but you're saying you might be saying why am I downloading on a version that solo 2.2 well 2.2 is like the most common um, framework um, available and each higher each higher framework or each higher version is backwards compatible so if you have an Android 4.0 you can still run an Android app that's made by Android 2.2 right um, but it's not vice versa. If I made something with Android 4.0, which are the brand new, like the newer phones, um, and I tried to run it with Android 2.2, it just wouldn't work. And the reason being is if you look right here, you see the API levels. Um, the API levels, the um, the more the higher levels it is, the more functions or or sorry, since we're using Java, we have to say methods. The more methods that you could use. So some methods can only work in like say API 10 that you can't use in API 8 or etc or etc cetera, et cetera. so we're gonna be missing a lot of functionality f um, that from the 4.0 but you can always look at the developers Android page and find out the additional things and you can find out how to configure them yourself so anyways to install Android 2.2 we want to click that and then we want to click install the packages and 
once you once you click that you have to wait for it to install you can install all of them if you wish but that's probably gonna take all day these takes these take forever to install um if you don't see it there or it won't install from there you can go to the repository and click android um sdk sdk platform android 2.2 .2, and click installed and um that will install it for you now um after it installs so you can pause it or whatever then you can you go to manage avds and what what this is doing is we're actually setting up our emulator so what we want to go to is go to new and the emulator name now make sure there's no spaces um so let's name this android emu for emulator so now the target is the api um the actual version we're going for so we're going for android 2.2 .2 api level 8 i'm going to click that um, the SD card um, is just like a sample SD card in case you're gonna do like work with storage and stuff. Um, we'll set that to 100 um, megabytes, I guess. And we leave all this by default, and we click Create AVD, and we click OK, and the check mark means that it was created successfully. So uh, that is it for this tutorial. Uh, we have set up we have gotten the SDK we have downloaded the version we've set up our emulator and the next tutorial we're ready to get right into our Android project and start coding so um, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this and bye